Sony's porting PS2 Horror Siren to its new PS5 PS4 emulator. This right here, Shad PS4 PlayStation 4 emulator is about to make Gravity Rush remastered, fully playable on PC. And then this right here, another update with emulation in regards to Sony is Forbidden Siren is using Sony's new in-console emulator, raising hopes for more forgotten classics on the PS5. Now, why is this such a big deal? I am guessing that this is why Nintendo is becoming so active with this stuff as well. For those of you that are unaware, there's been a lot of uproar and this is this is happening to me as well. A lot of my old emulation videos in regards to like the emulation consoles, the mini PCs that we've done, the handhelds that we've done. Nintendo is like really going after all of this stuff. And uh, I haven't seen like Sony or Microsoft do this yet, but Nintendo, they've always been bad with this, but like now it's happening like to i want to say probably 80 percent of the people that are covering anything even somewhat related to emulation so the reason i'm talking about this is because i'm pretty sure that that's what the nintendo switch 2 is also going to be doing they're going to be emulating and upscaling normal nintendo switch games into better whatever visual quality using a literal emulator like are you ready for it? Oh, Nintendo. Hold on. Let, let me say it, Nintendo. Are you ready, Nintendo? Yuzu. I guarantee you that is literally what the Nintendo Switch is going or Nintendo Switch 2 is literally going to be using on the console. It is literally going to have Yuzu. That's what it's going to have built into the console. I guarantee you. <laughs> because it was Yuzu was so well. Um it was so well why am i having such a hard time thinking of the word that i want to think of yuzu was so optimized there we go real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a pc from me my facebook business page is linked down in the description below i do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which i do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before i order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below it was so well optimized zelda ran superior to zelda on the normal nintendo switch mario ran superior to the normal mario on the nintendo literally every single nintendo switch game i not saying that i used it i'm just saying what i saw other people use educational purposes only you know so what i saw other people not myself other people use just for educational purposes that i'm explaining right now nintendo is that those people seem to have been able to upscale literally every nintendo game that just again educational purposes i'm just informing people of a, of a situation that is like literally happening right now which i'm actually going to do and i'm i'm really surprised that this is even uh a thing still after all of the yep it's still there and i know that you guys are like also educational purposes only i'm not saying that any of these have yuzu on them i'm just saying that there's quite a few people that seem to have maybe possibly bought 12 terabyte drives that could maybe just slightly chance less than one percent chance possibly educational purposes only have nintendo every platform as a matter of fact actually 12 terabytes let's just be honest possibly could have all of them you know and then people like me that kind of maybe have a 4090 in their computer not, that's definitely like a I don't this is it kind of looks like a brick from here so just saying there's possibly a chance that I have a 4090 and maybe also have a 12 terabyte drive that I possibly could use sometimes every once in a while but I don't think that that's actually the case so my point in explaining all of this stuff is that you know the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be coming out pretty soon and then we have all these playstation things where sony is literally using emulators on the ps5 i have a brain for i really don't follow sony anymore i despise their company i hate playstation i find this interesting because 
it benefits people like me that maybe use their computer for this kind of stuff but i, I don't think that anybody's really going to argue with me when i say the following <sighs> this is the future pretty pretty uh in-depth explanation right there right because you see ai is pretty capable of this thing called coding maybe again let's actually like start to remove the sarcasm just a little bit here because i think i've made my point pretty clear that we're only giving educational information throughout this video so dude when, when we have i i'm act, so jokes aside i am actually i don't understand how they're getting away with that i genuinely do not understand how they're getting away with that you know they, they because I'm being serious, dude, like, first of all, this isn't just like older games that we're, we're, we're talking about here. Like Ken Hank, they got to like, we're, I'm, I'm not even saying that they're from a different country, like China, maybe I'm not even saying that dude, I'm talking like we're, we're in a, we're in a, actually let's, let's actually use a really good example. Ken Hank, I'm pretty sure owns their own island has their own government makes their own laws and is shipping these 12 terabyte drives out of their own country with their own laws on their own private island that has to be what's going on dude because it's like this is not just older games that we're talking about here man this is like brand new stuff and we're talking about like not just like brand new stuff we're talking about full libraries of brand new stuff okay so that's where i'm like just kind of and this isn't just like this is like just a like okay this has been around for a day and then tomorrow it's going to be gone like dude search it on youtube there's probably videos that are a year old and this has been how these have been being sold for over a year i don't get it i just don't understand it. i don't understand how they're like actually able to do that and i'm so i'm i possibly could have one i'm not saying that i do but i possibly could have one and the thing is is it's not like they're it's not like it could possibly work like it it kind of does work just maybe just a little bit and yes i'm fully aware that everyone's like oh my goodness i plugged it into my computer and maybe possibly could have gotten a anti-virus notification of it having malware this drive another brand drive any drive you ever get in the future of all drives that are ever released will have one of those and it is because it is an execution exe dot exe file all of the uh possibly all of the antivirus softwares could maybe notify you of that it is because of the dot exe file okay so yes you could probably i mean it is going to notify you of this but i mean it's like we have many computers now where you can click the uh when you're installing windows or setting windows up you can hit the whatever i forget what what the key google it how to enter a command prompt to bypass internet connection on windows setup i forget what it's called it's, but it's like ob bypass o o b e y bypass it's something like that so just google it how to bypass internet connection when setting up a mini computer or any computer all right so do that and then have no information and no ip address stored on your computer and no information at all whatsoever zero percent and then take a usb drive from your normal computer put all your drives or updates and whatever driver updates on the usb drive plug it into your computer if you really feel the need to be this safe you can do that and then you can also even install antivirus and whatever all you want on your little usb drive thing dude and there's nothing going to happen to your new little mini computer to which to be fair is going to play like 90 percent of the stuff anyway yeah you have to go in and i know it's just so difficult to like map your controls as if like they know what controller you're using it's kind of like i consider that common sense to get one of these and they're probably not using the exact identical com controller that you're using like we are we're even at a point where we have like 10 different xbox controllers we got like seven different ps5 controllers so dude like yes of course you're gonna have to go into some of these things but I mean, at least to me that kind of means that they set this up and actually used so man i got in like in-depth ramble talk right there of possibly educating people on the 
maybe ability that things are happening and i i genuinely i really am curious to how they're getting away with that that's i'm genuinely being serious with that part i'm actually not joking i don't understand it dude i really don't understand how they're because it's not like it's just like hold on one second like we're talking like a lot of people all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and i guarantee you that the negative review is probably somebody that's like oh an antivirus popped up right let me just guess so we got four star right here i received hard drive booted up worked fine couple hours then it crashed okay so that that actually is a uh yeah there we go so it's infected there you go so that's one all right there you go again malware so my point in saying this all dude is just like again just get a mini computer if you genuinely feel like this is like dangerous it's like first of all 12 terabytes worth of games and we're, again possibly could have new stuff on it like i'm just like gonna toss this out here dude first of all you have literally a lifetime more we have multiple lifetimes worth of games to play you will never even you'll never even play all the games in one console let alone every other console that's on these things okay like and even the new one like this has maybe the, the emulator that was just sued possibly i'm not saying it does but you get my point here dude like is that not worth it to you you get a mini computer you don't even need the best mini computer dude like you need like a a nice like little like maybe like four or five hundred dollar mini computer that you can just like not connect to the internet and get one of these and now you have a lifetime worth of games that you never need to buy another console in a couple of years and then a couple of years after that new console you buy another console for more than the drive and a mini computer combined together i'm just like tossing all that information out there that it kind of seems like a no-brainer to me there's kind of a reason i don't have any consoles anymore maybe but uh, yeah i'm just blown away and i do think it's pretty cool that we're seeing a lot more like playstation emulator updates because as far as i'm concerned i'm just being honest to you like the ps3 emulator for me it's it's been very inconsistent the ps2 and the ps1 I mean, those have been like running really well for a long time now but the ps3 one and especially obviously especially the ps4 one um but with artificial intelligence on the market and being able to scrape and data mine and pump out its own code and stuff i do think that this is going to be the future all right and then we have amd's new ai mini pcs that are honestly insane uh, i haven't had the uh, the chance to uh, to review the one that i have oh my goodness that's so right there uh, i haven't had a chance to like fully review it i could pee really bad so i'm actually going to end this let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments peace